welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 508, most frequent subtree sum. Given the root of a binary tree, return the most frequent subtree sum. If there is a tie, return all the values with the, with the highest frequency in any order. The subtree sum of a node is defined as the sum of all the node values formed by the subtree rooted at that node, including the node itself. So let's look at this example that lead code provides us and think about what our solution here would be. <clears throat> so let's think about all the possible subtree sums. At the node minus three, what is the subtree sum there? Obviously three doesn't have any children. So the subtree sum of the sub of, you know, the tree rooted at three, uh, negative three is just going to be negative three. So let's kind of just put this into maybe like a dictionary and the key is going to be the sum and how many times we've seen that sum. So the same thing is going to happen with two because it doesn't have any children. So the sum of this tree rooted at two is just going to be one. So we have, um, you know, one tree, which is um, of sum two. And then for the five, the sum is going to be two plus five plus minus three. So obviously this is going to be four. So this is also going to have a count of one. Now, in this case, and this problem is a bit bad because all of these have the same um, value, and that's actually the maximum of our um, you know, count here. So the maximum frequency is going to be one. So in this case, we want to actually return all of these as our solution. And that's going to be the final answer. So essentially, what you want to do for this problem is really simple. For every single node in the tree, you want to get the sum of its entire left and its entire right subtree, add it to whatever the current node is, and then add it to some dictionary which maps um, sum to the frequency of that sum. And what we want to do is we also want to track the maximum frequency. So we want to say max frequency. And this way, we're going to know what our you know, maximum frequency is for when we need to return the answer. And remember that more than one uh, element, more than one sum can actually have the maximum frequency. So in the end, all we need to do is iterate over our key value pairs in the dictionary, storing the sum which maps to the frequency. And if the frequency that we're working with actually equals the max frequency, then we add that sum to our final you know result and that's it so all we need to do is basically sum the tree up in a bottom up manner store all these sum and frequency pairings figure out what the max frequency is as we go along so basically just check whether or not our current frequency is greater than our maximum frequency and then after that we can simply go through our items here one more time and extract all the elements whose frequency equals the maximum frequency. So pretty straightforward problem. Let's go to the code editor and implement it. We're in the editor. Let's write the code. The first thing that we need to check is whether or not we actually have a tree here. And in the case that we're actually given a root, which is empty, there's nothing for us to return. So we should just return an empty list. So we're going to say, if not root, we can return an empty list. Otherwise, remember that we need a dictionary which is going to map the sum to whatever frequency that that sum occurs at. So let's define that. So we're going to say self.frequency dict. We're going to say collections.defaultdict int. So basically, it's just going to initialize the value to zero for us uh, if the key doesn't exist. So nice syntactic sugar since we're using Python. And remember that we need to keep track of the max frequency so that way we can extract all the elements from our frequency dict that match that maximum frequency. So we're going to say self.max frequency is going to be equal to zero. And now we want to call our DFS function to basically build out all of those sums in a bottom up manner. So we're basically going to be doing a post order traversal uh, where we visit the children and then the node. So we're going to say self.dfs and we're going to pass in the root. And that will perform the extraction, building out all of the sums for us. And we'll write that function in a second. 
Now what we need to do is after we have all of the sums and their frequencies, we simply need to get all of the sums whose frequency equals the max frequency and add that to our result. So let's define the result array. And now we need to actually extract those values. So we're gonna say for sum, actually we'll just call it value because sum is a keyword, for value frequency in self dot frequency dict dot items what we're going to get is we're going to say if frequency equals to self dot max frequency then we want to add that value to our result so we're going to say res dot append that value and at the end we need to return our result array great now let's actually define the dfs function and it's going to just take a node and now we need to build out the sum in a bottom up manner so if our node is zero obviously we can't sum you know the value none so in that case apologies for the siren in the background uh we want to return the value zero so we're gonna say if not node somehow we got a null node we're gonna return here zero otherwise we want to basically sum uh uh, all of our values so let's handle the case where we're at a leaf so we're going to say if not node dot left and not node dot right in this case we need to insert a new value into our uh, dictionary because remember each um each leaf is in and of itself uh going to be a frequency because we can consider it as a you know single tree because it's left and right subtree sums are zero. So each leaf is actually its own kind of tree, even though it doesn't have any children. So we're gonna say self dot frequency uh, dict, we're gonna put the current node value, node dot val, uh, we're gonna increment it by one. And we're going to say that, remember we need to check the max frequency is not greater than whatever our frequency now is for this node dot val. So we're going to say self dot max frequency is going to be now the maximum of self dot max ah self dot max frequency and the self dot frequency dictionary of node dot val. So we need to double check that the the sum that occurs here that we just updated here. Uh, that that's not greater than our max frequency because if it is then we need to update the max frequency cool so that's the case that we have a leaf um, and then, oh sorry at this point we can actually just return node.val because remember we want to return to the next level the sum of whatever that subtree was and all of its you know the left and the right path plus the node so in this case we just return node.val because that is the sum at this point otherwise in the case that we do actually have some children we want to sum those and get them back so we're going to say left sum is going to equal to self.dfs and we're going to call it on the left subtree and we're going to say the right sum equals to self.dfs node.right and then for the interest of space i'm just going to get rid of this node definition up here and now we have the left and right sum and remember that we need to get the current sum which is um, the sum rooted at our current node. So basically taking whatever our nodes value plus the left and the right subtree. So we're gonna say the current sum equals the node, current nodes value plus the left sum plus the right sum. So that's gonna be the current sum. Remember, we need to update our frequency dictionary. So we're gonna say self dot frequency. Oh, it's actually freak dict. It's not frequency dictionary. Oops, I did that again up here. Ah. Okay, I think we fixed those bugs. So it's gonna be just frequency dict. Uh, and then we wanna say cur sum. We wanna increment the count for that sum by one. And then we're gonna say self dot max frequency is gonna be the maximum of self dot max frequency and self dot frequency dict, uh, whatever the current sum is. And that way we update our max frequency if it has changed. Now we can simply return the current sum to the next level and we will go through this DFS process all the way until we get back to the root, in which case we'll just return and we can consider ourselves done and then the, the rest of the function will just do this part. So let us just run this, make sure we haven't made any syntax errors because I was naming things a bit different. Okay, cool. So we can submit this and we see that it runs. So what is the time and space complexity for our algorithm here? Well, for the time complexity, 
we can see that uh, this DFS is doing a post order depth first search through our tree. So a depth first search through any tree is going to cause big O of n time because we have to touch all n elements where n is the number of nodes in the tree. And then what we need to do is we also need to parse through our frequency dictionary, which is going to be summing all of the, which is going to be storing all of the basically, you know, subtree sums and their frequencies. And that's going to be big O of n as well. So we can think of this algorithm as, you know, oops, uh, big O of n uh, in the, well, it's 2n, but asymptotically, this is the same as big O of n. So our runtime complexity is big O of n space complexity wise. We have um, big O of n for the recursion stack that it costs to do the post order traversal. And then we also have to store the frequencies for all of the subtrees. And this is going to be big O of n as well. And like in the previous one, it's big O of 2n, but asymptotically, this is just big O of n. So linear in both the time and the space complexity. So that is how you solve 508, most frequent subtree sum. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna see more content like this when you're preparing for your leak code interviews, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you wanna see any problems, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll make the video for you guys. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.